Hello YouTube. Just making a quick video to show uh, these two coils that I have on here. I have that one from the previous vid and this other set also from the previous vid, I guess. Hello Roger. I uh, just want to show uh, how crazy this is. But anyways, I've got it kicked on and same setup this motor with a variable resistor on it plugged into the wall and um, to everyone out there I don't have a watt meter to put on it I know I mentioned in the other video and I understand the significance of measuring that and watching that and doing all those tests and I'm just trying to get this settled down right around where we were last time. Anyways, I don't have the, I don't have the watt meter to measure the energy going into the boat motor to uh, have a look at that. I understand though, you know, the, what it would mean. Um, Please forgive me for, you know, I mean, I have a direction here and there's only so much I can do. But I understand the significance of that and how much that would mean to a lot of people to be able to see that. So, maybe I'll go get one um, to be able to show that exactly. I'm just going to give it a little, little more. But... Um, Eventually, I'm not going to need the motor. I see it more and more. And I hope you see that from this video too. That's why I'm making it. Uh, because quite a few people ask. That's all I'll say about that. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I have it settling down at, you know, around where it was last time. 13 and a half volts, somewhere near that. Uh, which it's which it is settling at it right now and what I'm going to do is I have the coils I have meters on the coils showing AC not real important really but I also have uh, I'm just going to short the coils through a switch they're off right now and um, basically they're both hooked up to be shorted through the switch so I'll flip the switch and on both coils once we get her settled here, looks like 13.3, it's going to go up and down from 13.1, 13.3, Yeah, okay, so she's settled down. It's just kind of jumping on the AC there, too normal. So I'm going to flip these switches, close the circuit, basically short them right out. Right? Both of them. I'm going to do that right now. And you'll see the wheel and hear it speed right up. I mean, it's pretty incredible. Remember, the wheel is 15 pounds. We're just under 15 pounds somewhere. But I'm not going to let it crank right up as far as it'll go. I don't even know how fast it'll go, to be honest with you. I've done this once now. But, um... What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to let it speed up a little bit, but I'm going to reduce the input to the motor, uh, back down, because this will increase a little bit, but I'll, then I'll reduce the input to the motor, back down to this voltage, right, and you'll see what's going on. So here we go. We're at 13.3 volts. I'm going to close them off. There we go, closed, closed, shorted, shorted, you can hear it speeding up rapidly, voltage is rising rapidly, it's really speeding up now. Now again, we don't know what's going into the motor, right? 
going, it's going and going and going. It's flying now. Okay, I'm turning it down now. I have to. <laughs> that's where. That's the point I haven't been past yet. It may just keep going, I don't know. So I'm turning the input to the motor down with the variable resistor and the voltage in the little pickup coil to show speed is dropping back down to our initial voltage. Thereabouts, it's gonna take a minute for it to settle. Please be patient. I'm just adjusting here, that's all. Now we're already much lower than we were here. So less current is going through this resistor into this motor. Okay, so we're, what was it? 13.3, okay, so I gotta reduce even more. <coughs> Excuse me. just takes a minute because it's delicate <laughs> with the resistor and the wheels heavy. Okay, here we go. This is about where we were when we started. So now I've engaged the coils. It sped up. I didn't even see how far it sped up. It's kind of scary, honestly. That's as far as I got the two times I tried it. We're back down to our initial voltage here on the pickup coil showing the speed. And we're using much less energy. Uh, when I engaged those coils, this variable resistor was turned all the way down here. So, just using our eyes here, we can see that there's less energy going into the motor. And we're doing the same speed with our little pickup coil picking up the voltage but showing us the speed of the motor right right back to where we were now they're still shorted right and they're providing push on that wheel and there's less current going into the motor so hopefully that answers some questions sorry I don't have an energy meter right now oh here you go this is this maybe will seal the deal for you if you still don't agree or whatever I'm going to flip the switches off. Bang and bang. I'm not touching the input to the motor. You can hear it dying. Dropping, dropping, dropping. See, now that's becoming a pretty good strain on the motor. <coughs> there you go. Down to eight, whatever. I'm going to flip it off. So there you are. There you are. Hopefully that answers some questions. Um, hopefully I'll get better instruments um, coming up in the future. But basically this should show you that when the coils were engaged, less energy went to the motor to achieve the same speed of the wheel, which was measured by the little coil there that we we're picking up this voltage and then at the end when I opened the circuits on the two coils the wheel slowed down right down and the input that I had it at wouldn't it was barely turning the wheel it needed something down in this area like when I started the experiment or test I should say but there you go hopefully that answers some questions um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another test uh, with the big wire coils on the same core as compared to these coils I'm going to test one on the core then the other at a particular speed I'm going to compare the push on the wheel that it that it gives the amount of pickup in speed that it gives at a particular starting voltage and I'm going to compare the two so that's what I'll do for uh, tomorrow and 
uh, hopefully be able to upload a bit of that, you know, most likely. There you are. Take care. Um, it's my pleasure to enjoy this, or to, sh <laughs> it's my pleasure to share this stuff with you guys. And um, please keep in mind, this is my house, right? <laughs> We're unable to prove anything on YouTube, right? <laughs> Proof from YouTube just will not happen if that's what you're waiting for. But you can prove to yourself um, if you try it or if you take my word for it and you know, it's not going to take me long to get more coils on here now um, after doing a couple more tests and then um, eventually with more and more and more coils going on I'll be turning this down and down and down and down and down to stay at the same speed, right? The coils will be doing the pushing and then eventually I won't need the motor. I'll I'll hook up a ripcord on the shaft there and I'll, I'll put a little piece of wood or uh, PVC pipe here or something and I'll give it a good rip and I should be able to get it up to 300 RPM no problem at all which is about the speed I'm running at here to start off with to get that 13 and a half volts and then it'll run itself and I hope you see that from uh, this test right here today that I did on this video. But uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you to everyone for all your support and kind words. And um, I'll be sharing more with you tomorrow. Take care.